Today we will be using the strategy count up to to solve this problem. Cindy has 11 stickers, Adam has 7 stickers. How many more stickers does Cindy have than Adam? We will be using concrete, pictorial, and abstract representations to represent this problem. I'm going to start with concrete by building 11 stickers to represent Cindy and 7 stickers to represent Adam. First, we will start with a concrete representation. We can see that Cindy has more stickers than Adam just by looking at this drawing. Now Adam can take his 7 stickers and count up to Cindy's amount so they can find out the difference. I start with 7 stickers and add more to equal 8, 9, 10, 11. Next, we will display a pictorial representation. We will draw Cindy's stickers here and Adam's stickers down there. We can see that if I add on to Adam's stickers, we can count up in order to match what Cindy has. We counted up to 11 by placing more stickers on Adam's side to equal the same amount that Cindy has. We saw that the difference was four stickers. Lastly, we will display the abstract representation. We will use the number bond strategy to compare the difference that is unknown. This strategy is where we have two parts and one whole. The two parts will equal the whole. By already using our concrete and pictorial model, we can see that the whole is 11, and one part is seven. We found the other part is four. We can see that seven and four is the same as 11. In our word problem, Cindy has 11 stickers and Adam has seven stickers. We found out that the difference between 11 and seven is four. We can see that Cindy has four more stickers than Adam. Back to our word problem in the beginning. Cindy has 11 stickers. Adam has 7 stickers. How many more stickers does Cindy have than Adam? We can see that 11 minus, four, 11 minus 7 equals 4. Cindy has four more stickers than Adam. For more student math strategy videos, check out our UH Math Education channel on YouTube.